Hi everyone and welcome to another video by The Peppy Techie. First of all, Happy New Year to all of you and thank you so much for your comments and your subscriptions to my channel because it just makes me want to keep making them and some of the wonderful comments this year have already been and even from last year to keep making more videos and that just, you know, you, you make my day. Thank you so much. I appreciate your comments. So without further ado, what my problem is today, and I don't usually get on YouTube and go rant, rant, rant but today I'm going to, because I was doing a search on LumaFusion and you know, like what's out there, what's hot, what do people want, which is one of the big questions I ask myself every day when I make a video. And what popped up was a video from about 11 months ago, beware of story blocks and LumaFusion. What? Hmm, that's interesting because I use LumaFusion. I think it's the best $69 I've ever spent on a LumaFusion add-on or anything that I use to make my videos. I'm like, this is great because if I wanted to buy story blocks from the story blocks, it's some money. I'm not gonna spend it. But here's what the guy did. He used some music, okay, and he got a violation. Copyright violation. Now really what that is, is not a violation. It's a notification of a possible violation. If you don't do anything about it, then it will stand as a violation. Now, he took some steps, and then he didn't take down the video when he found out there were correct steps. What he did was he contacted Storyblocks. Now, if you use LumaFusion, you're going to buy Storyblocks from LumaFusion. So if you get a eh, copyright violation, you have to contact Luma Fusion, not Storyblocks directly. Now, one of the things I highly advise is when you do use something from Storyblocks in Luma Fusion, you write about your video, what it's all about, make sure down in there you put a link that you're using video audio provided by Luma Fusion slash Storyblocks. It might stop YouTube from actually popping you up in their algorithm that way. But if you do get a violation, LumaFusion has a great site that is perfect. I'm gonna pop it up here so you can see it. And they tell you what you need to do. You're going to contact them, you're gonna get them the name of your video, you're gonna do what you gotta do, and then they're going to take 24 to 48 hours and that strike will go away very quickly. So just be aware that you don't contact Storyblocks, you contact LumaFusion and they'll take care of your issue really, really fast. That's what I wanted you to know. This guy's video, it's not right. And Storyblocks is a great way to get some really cool ideas and video. I've used it. I've, I've watched a lot of their videos that they've given for free. And I'm like, I can do that better. So like, I'll take their idea and I'll try to improve on it. And that's what creativity is all about. So I hope you enjoy it. Now, I hope you'll make sure you subscribe to my channel and push that like button if you enjoyed this video, if it helped you out or helped you understand the whole issue with copyrights and LumaFusion and Storyblocks. And if you'll hit the notification button in just a few hours or maybe even by tomorrow, I'll have a new video up on blending in LumaFusion and some really cool ideas and things you can do. So I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching The Peppy Techie. And remember, just get to it. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Hope you'll subscribe to the Peppy Techie channel. Please make sure you hit the bell so you'll be notified when I make a new video. And leave your comments down below. Your questions, your thoughts, even your advice is much appreciated. And don't forget to smash that like button. Thanks for watching the Peppy Techie channel.